What happens in Afghanistan is the president's responsibility. Secondly, the general who's in charge has simply come back and said, what you told me to do, I don't have enough people to do, so if you want me to keep going on what I'm doing, give me more people. So this led to the White House review. The problem in, in Afghanistan is not exclusively or even primarily military. It's political, it's cultural, it's geostrategic. You've got to have diplomacy. You've got to work with Afghanistan's neighbors. You might want to bring in the United Nations. Afghanistan is a cockpit for conflict between China, India, Pakistan, Iran, Russia's back in there now. All of these things are way above the responsibilities and the authorities of General uh, Nicholson. So there should be no discussion about firing him. He's a good man. He's done exactly what people have asked him to do, and he's fulfilling his responsibility by saying, boss, if you want me to keep going, I've got to have more troops because the mission I've been given, I can't execute with what I've got. Now, it may be that Donald Trump wants to blame the generals for everything, but the truth about war is that the politics, the strategy, and the diplomacy surrounding it is ultimately the president's responsibility. And so uh, we don't even know what Donald Trump means by winning in Afghanistan. What is winning? Let's have the president and his advisors tell us what winning is before we go after the general for allegedly not winning. Well, the president made an analogy referencing the renovation of the 21 Club here in New York City, which I know more about the 21 Club than I do Afghanistan, and so does President Trump. So President Trump weighing in, saying, it's guys on the ground who have to know this better. Maybe our guys don't know what they're doing. Is he completely off base? I want to share with you but what Kara Lee, who broke the story, said. His point was perhaps it would have been better if that owner had gone to the employees who are working in the restaurant rather than hired someone from the outside and wasted a lot of money. So President Trump is saying those with boots on the ground in Afghanistan, they should make the decisions. Well, I think that General Nicholson goes out and often talks to the boots on the ground. But unlike the restaurant business, this is a little different. This is a little more complicated. Just a little. These are functions of the customers. It's like a restaurant business where the customers aren't in the restaurant. So you can't get to China, India, Pakistan, Iran, Russia by talking to the troops on the ground. They may tell you there's a Russian weapon there, but what you do with Russia, that's a White House responsibility. Do you try to encourage peace between India and Pakistan so Pakistan won't be intervening the same way in Afghanistan? Well, that's a White House decision. President Obama didn't want to really grasp hold of that. He didn't give Richard Holbrooke a chance to work it, but um, maybe President Trump could. But it's certainly not General Nicholson's responsibility. Then what advice would you give President Trump right now? I'd give him a, the advice of, A, uh, it's your problem, you own it. Number two, Get Tillerson in there, get Mattis in there, get McMaster, your national security advisor, and start talking about the big picture. It's not what's happening on the ground is a symptom of the larger struggle that's going on in the region. You've got to address that struggle through diplomatic, economic means, through other trade offs, maybe even outside the area. So you've got to think big on this. But, General, and be realistic. Let's give General Nicholson, is don't, it a, don't put more, sorry. Is it not ahead, a Stephanie. no win for Mattis, Tillerson, H.R. McMaster? Given what you've heard from the president, angry that we're not winning, is it a no win for these guys? Can they make real progress with him? Well, I don't think you can think of this in terms of winning and losing for Tillerson and McMaster. I think what you've got to do for the United States is you've got to find a way to continue to try to stabilize Afghanistan without trying to go back and redo another large American intervention. We've never had enough troops there. We've never done the regional diplomacy that's required. It's time for us to pass the baton. General, thank you so much for your thoughts this morning. I sincerely appreciate it, and I hope the president's thank watching. You, Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.